I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau with your FastCast digital headlines for this Wednesday. Taking a look at today's top stories that we're following. Alaska State Troopers say three people are dead after a major landslide in Wrangell. A minor who was found Monday night and two adults found yesterday. Three others are still missing as the search and rescue operation continues. The 450 foot wide landslide it swept away three different homes Monday night. Many in the community of just about 2,000 people have come together to try and help. Warnings are still in place and crews are even going door to door to inform people of evacuations. And one of the biggest signs that people need to be listening for are noises like rumbling, trees cracking, boulders knocking, especially if that noise starts as a faint noise and gets louder and louder and louder. So what to do if you are able to, it's advisable to leave the area if you can, help your neighbors evacuate, elderly folks, those with children or those with lots of pets. This is very much still a search and rescue operation. Um, we are uh, approaching it with that uh, in mind. And I know that all of our uh, teams on the ground, both volunteer, are looking at it with the same, um, with the same lens. There was a rescue yesterday of a woman who, according to Alaska State Troopers, was last known to be in good condition. The EPA just announced a $2 billion funding program to support community-driven projects that address environmental and climate justice issues. The EPA administrator visited Alaska earlier this year to hear from tribal leaders about their environmental challenges and solutions. Some topics discussed were climate impacts and adaptation, subsistence food security, water infrastructure and security, and contaminated lands. Out of the amount awarded by the EPA, $150 million of the funding will go to Alaska Native tribes, something Senator Lisa Murkowski says is much needed support. And a quick programming note, there will be no local news from Alaska's news source on Thanksgiving Day. Instead, there are multiple specials here that you can watch at 5 a.m., 7.30 p.m., and 10 p.m. Throughout the day on Channel 2 will be the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, the National Dog Show, and, of course, football at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Alaska time. And on Channel 5, the parade starts at 9 a.m., and football starts at noon, followed by the magnificent Mile Lights Festival House, the CBS Evening News, and the Taste of Holidays special, and the All Good News special that airs on both channels at 10 o'clock. And those are your FastCast digital headlines for this Wednesday. I'm Ariane Aaron Bureau. Thanks for watching, and have a very happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you back.